Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, where I build a random chaos deck for an investigator in Arkham Horror uh, LCG and try to do the best I can in the Midnight Mask scenario. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, there has been so many new products coming in, so it is nice to get something familiar onto the table uh, now and again. So, uh, first off, let's pick our unlucky investigator, and I have included the uh, Skull Keys in investigators also into this uh, bag, so we might get some new, new investigators, but we'll see. Uh, this time we get Stella Clark. So, Stella is a really uh, good solo investigator, so hoping to get a good deck for Stella, so let's hop over to uh, ArkhamCDB.com and build a Chaos deck for Stella. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and um, let's find Stella first. Uh, there she is, so just a moment while the page loads up, so we can just push the uh, chaos button here. So, uh, Stella is an interesting investigator, a uh, really good one in a true solo, in my opinion. So, let's see what kind of a deck we get for Stella. Okay, so uh, first off, some fighting power with the uh, Derringer. Uh, 18 caliber derringer, one of, of those, we got a flashlight, that's okay. Uh, Gravedigger shovel is skewed for a high shroud location. Stella's intellect is not that high, it's only two, so we that can, can be useful. Uh, Grimm's fairy tales, not that good. Uh, improvised shield, not good for Stella, because Stella doesn't have an inbuilt uh, discard mechanic. Uh, backpack, well, we'll see if that's good. Tool belt, uh, I don't think we have enough tools for that be, being good. Uh, two copies of Peter Sylvester, well, this is really good. Uh, one copy of Sled Dog, uh, one copy of Stray Cat. Dig Deep, mm, okay, well, uh, one copy of Traxus, that's great. Uh, we got the Emergency Cash, that's okay. End of the road, so this is a newer card, so uh, play during your turn if the final agenda is in play, draw one card, gain one resource and gain one additional action, remove end of the game, uh, road from the game. So this actually could be a good one. Hiding spots, no, not, not that interesting. Improvised weapon, I think that's not good. Okay, uh, preparation, so... This is the new type uh, dilemma card, so it has a revelation effect, so when it comes into play uh, we get to choose some uh, things that it says here. Uh, well, we'll see how that works. Uh, oops, not good. Uh, refine, not good because we don't have any customizable cards. Uh, scrounge for supplies. Uh, maybe good for grabbing the Grave Decode Shovel back. Tempt Fates, no. Result, well, this is a <coughs> uh, customizable car, but we don't have any experience, so we can't customize it at all. Uh, last Chance, no, not good in this kind of deck. Uh, manual Dexterity, might be good. Neither Rain nor Snow, well, these are the... Stella Staples, so these are good, of course. Uh, overpower, Perception, uh, Reckless Assault, not good. Uh, take Heart times one. Well, not the greatest deck, but I think we can at least try to get something done with it. Let's see what is the random basic weakness for this deck. So, uh, Silver Twilight Acolyte. Well, that, that is annoying, but... It is what it is. That is the deck, so let's hop back over to the scenario. 
Okay, well, uh, I will build the deck for Stella and we'll see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start the game. Uh, we have the Stella deck <laughs> built here. Uh, we have everything set up, uh, so let's just draw our opening hand and see how that game progresses. Okay, that we shuffle back. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we need that, that, or that, or that actually. So, keeping the grave digger shovel. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, manual dexterity, neither rain nor snow, hiding spot, improvised weapon, and grave digger shovel. Uh, well, uh, we cannot play the improvised weapon, it cannot be committed, so it's a useless card altogether. Uh, if some effect doesn't discard a card from our hand, and it happens to be that, but it is what it is. Mm. Okay, we'll just shuffle uh, the mulligan cards back into the deck and begin. Well, uh, first action. We will actually... Investigate. And... Uh, No, uh, first action, we'll draw a card and gain a resource. So take card. Uh, first action is... Uh, the second action is to try and... Investigate. I'm committed to take card into this test. So two versus two. Elder sign. Well, it is plus one. We don't want to fail this time, so we'll grab the clue. Last action. Uh, yeah, of course, it is an elder sign because we committed take heart. Uh, how else would that work? So we'll move to River Town as our last action. There's one clue here, Shroud of One. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, one thing uh, I forgot to say that uh, I picked Cultist and Hazard for the Traits chosen for the Grizzled uh, at the start, so we can play get extra uh, icons from that card for those kind of encounter cards. Okay, <clears throat> so that is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep. And uh, <clears throat> this token is here, just uh, if I get an extra action, it's Stella. Okay, we draw overpower and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We put one doom onto the agenda. One of six. Encounter card is... It is a curse. So, hunting, shadow, peril. Uh, you must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. I'll take the damage. And that is it. Um, so, um, I think I'll play down... Grave Digger Shovel and try to investigate. So, investigating two versus one. Uh, skull is X, S, X is the highest number of two monocultist enemies, so that is zero. So, we'll grab this clue. Last action, we'll use the clues to spawn one. Cultist, and these are shuffled, so the first one is Root Turner. So Root spawns to St. Mary's Hospital, which is doable. We can go there and try to evade. So just marking her there. Okay, so that is our turn. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We'll ready. We draw track shoes and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is... Crypt Chill. 
revelation test uh, will uh, will power four if you fail choose and discard one asset to control if you cannot take two damage uh, we have only the Gravedigger Shovel in play, but we don't really want to lose it, but we don't have any willpower icons to commit, and I want to save the another Rain or Snow for later. So we'll just test this. Uh, 3 versus 4. It is a minus 1, so we fail, but we get an extra action for this round. Uh, we lose the Gravedigger Shovel, unfortunately. <coughs> then, uh, first action, we'll play the track shoes um, just put it here actually I'll just put it here we don't have a tarot then uh, second action we'll move down to the south side uh, we can search for an ally asset and add it to your hand. That is actually a good idea, but we'll try to use the track shoes to move an extra uh, movement this round to the St. Mary's Hospital. We are testing um, 5 versus 3. Minus 3, we fail. So we still have two actions, so we can move. And uh, last action will be the ex uh, extra action we receive. So, uh, Root Turner engages us. Root has a uh, agility of five, so we are five against five. But uh, we have manual dexterity to commit, and I'm committing the hiding spot. So we are up by four. So this should be doable. Minus one, so we add root turner to the victory display. <clears throat> so that's one cultist down. That's a decent start, and we draw a card with manual dexterity. We get the last chance, and we go to upkeep. No enemies, so we ready up. We draw a card. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Three of six. Encounter card is Ghoul Priest. So Ghoul Priest spawns to our house or your house. So we don't have to mind. We just need to keep uh, ahead of the Ghoul Priest. Or maybe if we have a really good uh, fighting hand, we could kill him. But I, I doubt it. So that was the Mythos phase. Uh, first action. We will investigate here now uh, we'll go to south side <clears throat> and we will do the action here to search for our ally asset and put, uh, take it into our hand and we only have peter sylvester in our deck so we'll grab peter shuffling our deck so peter is in our hand uh, Last action, we'll try to investigate. Uh, we are investigating uh, 2 versus 2. Plus 1, so we actually gr grab this clue, so that's good. But we don't get extra action, so enemy phase, the ghoul priest hunts here. Upkeep, we uh, ready up, uh, draw a card, we get sled dog, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another doom, four of six, and count the card ease on wings of darkness. <laughs> uh, well, at, at least it's an agility test. Uh, I think I want to commit the uh, dig deep to this test. So we are testing six versus four. We don't want to move into river turn at this moment. Six versus four. 
uh, cultist is minus two, place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There are none in play, so we pass and we don't have to move to um, River Town. And that's great. First action, we will uh, play down Peter Sylvestre. Second action, we will move to St. Mary's Hospital. And last action, I will commit the, neither rain nor snow to this test and investigate here. Investigating 5 versus 2. Elder sign. I won't um, fail the test, so I'll grab the clue. Enemy face the um, bull priest hunts here. Upkeep, we ready up. Draw a card. Gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Uh, five of six, so uh, we know that the mass counter will appear next round. And counter card for this round is a knight, uh, a hunting knight gun. So uh, that just slows us down quite a bit. Uh, so. Let's see. I think we will just evade and not commit anything. So uh, we will evade six versus one, and negatives are doubled from the chaos token. So it is a zero, so we evade. There's these guys over here. So they are on the map and here. Uh, second action, we will move to Miskatonic University. Two clues here. And a last action, we will move to north side. Because the bull priest can hunt over here. So we need to uh, run away. Basically from that. Uh, that was a quick turn. No. Um, well, the ghoul prince, uh, ghoul priest hunts there. Uh, nothing else happens. Upkeep, we ready up. So this should have been exhausted, but it ready is now. And we draw a card. Uh, neither rain nor snow, and we get a resource. So that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. Uh, so we add a doom. That means that the agenda advances and we get the Mask Hunter on us. So, uh, we get an encounter card. Uh, Hunting Shadow. Uh, you must either choose one, spend one clue or take two damage. I'll take the damage because we don't uh, want to uh, lose any clues. So we are... Uh, we have taken four damage now. Uh, first action, we will evade the Mask Hunter. And I'm evading six versus four, so I'm not committing anything to the test. Uh, it is a minus one, so we evade the Mask Hunter. So I'll just add that guy over here. And. Uh, now, uh, I think we will hmm. do I want to move first or spawn the cultist? I think I will spawn the cultist and take a risk. So, uh, we spawn the cultist by spending two clues. And the cultist is uh, Wolfman Drew. Oh dear. So, uh, Wolfman Drew spawns to the downtown. And uh, we are between a rock and a hard place at this moment. So, not looking good. So, I think we have to try to... Uh, track shoes past Wolfman Drew now. So, last action, we'll move to downtown. Uh, 
uh, two clues here. Then uh, we will do the agility test. So six versus three. Minus two. We uh, won't engage, but we move past to East Town. So there's one clue here. And that is our turn. Um, enemies hunt, so these guys hunt. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So this actually hunt. One, two, three. Yeah, hunts this at this location. We ready up. We draw a card, another Peter, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so one of eight encounter cards for this round is Locked Door. So we place this to the location with the most clues, so we put it to Miskatonic University. We are not probably going to investigate that. Uh, then, actually, let's put it here, because... There's an enemy there, and we can't basically do anything to that uh, coldest enemy at this moment. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> that was the Mythos phase uh, first action. We'll move here. Second action, we'll move to the graveyard. Uh, we'll test uh, willpower 3 when versus 3. Don't have any uh, cards to commit here. And uh, we just test it. Oh, uh, actually, let's move to the track shoes to save actions. So, six versus three, minus four. So, second action, we need to actually use an action to move. Then we'll test the willpower. Uh, I'll commit this to the test. So, uh, four versus three. Minus two, we fail. We decide to take two horror, but we get an extra action. We'll take one on Peter and one on Stella. Uh, we'll investigate uh, two versus one. Elder sign, we'll grab a clue. Last action, we'll investigate, and I'm actually committing this. Uh, it is a zero. So we'll grab a clue, that's our turn, enemy actions, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so this hunt here, this hunt here, we are running out of space, and uh, I'm, I'm glad we have the track shoes so we can try to skip past these enemies messing up on us, uh, we'll ready up. We draw a card, a reckless assault, and we gain a resource. And Peter heals one horror. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. And then the encounter card for this round is uh, Wizard of the Order. Uh, we'll spawn the wizard at our house i think we don't have time to deal with that so this is going to end uh, abruptly i think uh first action uh we will spawn another cultist to hopefully get one more defeated it is herman collins so that that was a lucky break so we'll just discard that that oh. actually now we have a way to discard the uh, Improvised shield. So four cards. I think those are the cards we discard. So grave digger, shovel, sled dog, improvised uh, shield, and reckless assault. So that was an enter action. So Herman Collins goes into the victory display. Uh, we still have one action left. Uh, we will move. Here and try to track shoes past. We are testing the 
we need to pass this. So I will last chance this. So uh, this gives us four. No, that, that, yeah, that's a must. We die if we stay here. So I will see what happens. Uh, it is uh, minus three. If you fail, place one of your troops. Well, we don't fail. We pass a uh, move over here with the track shoes. It was already exhausted from last turn. And that is our turn. So, enemy actions. This knight can't move in, engages with us. This move here. Uh, knight can't hits us for one damage and one horror. Put the horror on Peter, take the damage on myself. And that is the enemy round. We ready up. We draw backpack and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Uh, three of uh, four of uh, eight because this guy is in play. Uh, mysterious chanting. So that that is bad. Uh, the closest cultist is the mass hunter. So. I think this is the last turn of the game. So we are at six. So next round we would be at seven. Well, we have a one one round after that. Uh, first action is to evade this knight count. Uh, six versus one. Minus four. Uh, we still succeed because it's uh, minus. It is uh, basically. We are two versus one, so this is evaded. Second action, we will try to investigate here. Uh, nothing to commit, so two versus two. Oh, there, this is ready. Two versus two, zero. We grab this clue. Last action, we'll move and try to pass here. So I'll commit the backpack, so I'm uh, seven versus three. Auto fail. We get an extra action for this round, but uh, that will be to evade Wolfman Two. Six versus two. Uh, minus three. We succeed, so we evade Wolfman Two. Okay. Enemy face. These guys hunt over here. Oh yeah, this guy actually got one extra. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I forgot to add this. So let's back up. Our last action is actually, actually to resign. We don't evade. So we resign and drop our clue here. So uh, that was that. Uh, we managed to get uh, one victory point location cleared and two cultists. So three experience for Stella in the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, not the worst, um, not the best, but I'm happy considering what kind of deck we had at the end. So, yeah, um, this is a hard one if you don't get any clue tech. Uh, we had the one flashlight in the, in the deck, but with Stella's two and not getting the flashlight uh, from our deck um, and not having any other clue tech in the deck, so... I think that's a decent result, but yeah, hope was hoping to get uh, Victoria uh, to north side rather than uh, the Wolfman Drew, so we would have had plenty of resources to uh, parlay with Victoria, but it is what it is. So uh, that was uh, Stella Clark in the Midnight Mass scenario with a Chaos deck, so hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.